Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. On this video, I will be talking about my wish list for Naked and Afraid XL Season 11, 12, 13, 14, whichever they decide. And I would also like to apologize in advance to any survivalists who see this and their name is not on the list. I chose 16 survivalists and there are a lot of survivalists, but I, you know, tried to get a good mix of fan favorites, underrated, very skilled, good mental attitude, and all that jazz, and I just apologize. If you're not on the list, please don't come for me. I would also like to mention the three surveys linked below. There is a limit response, so if you see a survey and there's someone you want to vote for but don't have a Google sign-in, you can comment and I can vote for them myself, or I can add their votes in. And let's begin. <laughs> with our survivalists. The first four are Janice, Victor, Sarah, and Chris. Janice and Victor were on the episode Taste of Their Own Medicine. They are medics who have been in front of and behind the camera. They both did really well on their challenge and they worked really well together. Sarah was the most popular survivalist on my XL Newbie survey and Chris is very popular amongst the fans and not only are they popular, they are all very skilled so I think they would work well together, work very hard, get a good shelter, get some food, get some water. There would be a lot of good strong mental attitudes going into it and they will rock it out in any location. I know some may be saying, well, Chris was just on season 10 of XL. Well, you know, the last few seasons of XL and on Last of the we saw the same survivalist over and over and over. So why not bring Chris back for another challenge? She's very popular. Everyone here is on this particular list is popular and they also have the skills to succeed. And I don't see any negativity in sight except for the negativity that comes from, you know, dealing with the situation, but I think they can build each other up. Next up is Kelly, Renee, Joe, and Samantha. Now, I chose Renee, who you may not recognize. He is on Largados y Palados season one, and so far, I believe he has the highest ASP slash PSR of any survivalist on Largados y Palados, so I think if there were to be a crossover, he would be the first choice. He is very skilled. He was the main character of a season. I think the last episode of Largados y Palados season one, which you can stream on Discovery Plus or Max, he was basically the main character of that episode. It pretty much followed his story the whole time. And Kelly, I believe, will be the most likely to be able to communicate with Renee, and Kelly has also been vocal about wanting to come back. Joe managed to not eat for 21 days and still make it through, and Samantha is a biologist and a hard worker, and I think she deserves a chance to come back as well. She has also been very vocal about wanting to go back, so I think we should give these four a chance and put them together. Next up, we have Kyle, Rachel, Ashley, and Matt. Now, Ashley and Matt were together on their 14-day challenge, and they've been vocal about wanting to go back on a challenge together, so why not have that dynamic going into it? We have Kyle, who is also a hard worker, and hopefully his confidence has been built up since his time on his challenge, and Rachel is a beacon of sunshine of the Naked and Afraid, because every time she's on, she's probably the most positive person, when she was on her 21 day challenge, she was super positive despite all the craziness and going on with the cold nights. She suffered through naked and afraid of love and she came out smiling on the other side despite everything that happened. So I think she would be a very positive person throughout the challenge. And I think that Kyle would be a very good asset to the team. He's a very hard worker. And Matt and Ashley will be a cool duo and be able to take on the challenge. And hopefully they'll do very well and, you know, get all the resources they need. So I think these four would be a nice group together. Next up, we have Jesse, Frank, Joe, and Sarah. Now, three of the four individuals on this group have previously tapped from a challenge. Jesse, because she just had a stroke of bad luck and got hypothermia. Joe and Sarah, because of med taps on XL Frozen. So I think it would be a good way for them to get more redemption. I know Jesse came back and got her redemption 21 day challenge. So she has a total of 
41 days. So I think a collective, you know, 40 days in a row, she'll do just fine. And Frank is someone who started out as a fan and did a 21 day challenge. And people were like, wait a second, why is he on a 14 day challenge? He's so skilled. His shelters are amazing. He's very skilled. He was helping Scott during his 21 day challenge and teaching him things. So I think he would be a great asset in, you know, keeping everything together and keeping everyone organized and keeping everyone safe and having ideas that'll work out. And it would just be a cool team to see. Joe is, has a very upbeat attitude and Sarah has expressed wanting to come back. So it would be cool to see them all together because, you know, who doesn't want to see Joe's positive mental attitude? He also has a good storyline that would come full circle when it comes to him being adopted and that full circle and whatnot. And that is the four groups I have chosen to be on the show. We have group one of Janice, Victor, Sarah, and Chris. We have group two of Kelly, Renee, Joe, and Samantha. We have group three of Kyle, Rachel, Matt, and Ashley. And we have group four of Jesse, Frank, Joe, and Sarah. I think that these would all be good groups. They would work together. They have, you know, the... They, they have the tank slash barbarian, they have the rangers, they have the druids, they have the clerics, you know, Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons and all that jazz. And I just think that they would all be good choices and it would be a good mix of people and good dynamics. Maybe some fighting here and there, but I didn't say, oh, this person causes drama, let's put them in there, so it's fine. But that is my wish list for Naked and Afraid XL. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, nice things, and subscribe. If you are a member of production or work in casting, please consider casting one of those 16 individuals or all of the 16 individuals. That would be great. Maybe have a little crossover with XL or a crossover with an Argado C. Pilatos or Super Vivencia Aldez Nuno. That'd be cool because those survivalists have worked hard and probably want the chance for another challenge as well. And I would love it if, you know, they could all come back and, you know, I could check the people off my list. But thank you all so much for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye!